Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into the world of coin collecting and uncovering some of the most valuable ultra-rare Washington quarters that could be worth millions. If you're a numismatics enthusiast, or just love finding hidden treasures, you're in the right place. Let's jump right into it. Today, we're talking about a coin that has captured the interest of collectors and investors alike, the 1990 D Mint Mark Washington Quarter. Could this ordinary-looking coin be worth a fortune? Let's find out. The Washington Quarter has been a staple of American currency since 1932, celebrating the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. The coin we're focusing on today is from 1990, struck at the Denver Mint, hence the D-Mint mark. First, let's talk about the coin's history and design. The obverse features the familiar portrait of George Washington, designed by John Flanagan. The reverse, at this time, still displayed the iconic eagle with outstretched wings. What makes the 1990 D quarter particularly interesting, however, isn't just its design or place in history, but its value. In 1990, millions of quarters were produced at the Denver Mint. Despite this high mintage, certain 1990 D quarters have become quite valuable. Why? Let's break it down. Condition is key. Coins that are in mint state, showing no signs of wear and retaining their original luster, are significantly more valuable than those that are circulated. But beyond condition, there are specific characteristics and errors that can dramatically increase a 1990 D quarter's value. One of the most sought-after errors is the spitting eagle variety, where a die crack causes what looks like a line of spit coming from the eagle's beak. Another notable error is off-center strikes, where the design is not properly aligned with the coin's edges. These errors make the coins rare and highly desirable to collectors. So, how much can a 1990 D quarter be worth? A regular, circulated 1990 D quarter is worth its face value, 25 cents. However, those in mint state can fetch between 1 million and 2 million of dollars. Error coins, like the spitting eagle or off-center strikes, can command much higher prices, sometimes million of dollars depending on the error's severity and the coin's overall condition. Online auctions and coin shows are great places to see the current market value. Recently, a high-grade mint state 1990 D quarter sold for over $10,000 due to its pristine condition, and I appeal. So there you have it. The 1990 D Washington quarter might seem common at first glance, but if you have one in exceptional condition or with a unique error, it could be worth much more than just $1.3 million. Always check your change. You never know what treasure might be hiding in plain sight. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more numismatic adventures. Leave a comment below if you have any 1990 D quarters or other interesting coins in your collection. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of Washington Quarters, specifically focusing on the 1993 P. Mint Mark Washington Quarter. You might be surprised to learn that some of these coins can be worth quite a bit of money. Let's explore the history and what makes this coin so special. The Washington Quarter has been a staple in American currency since 1932, designed by John Flanagan to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. The coin we're looking at today, the 1993 P. Mint Mark, is part of this long and story tradition. So, what makes the 1993 P. Washington Quarter stand out? First, let's talk about the P. Mint Mark. This mark indicates that the coin was minted at the Philadelphia Mint, one of the primary facilities for producing U.S. coins. In 1993, the Philadelphia Mint produced over 639 million quarters, making it a common year for the Washington Quarter. But not all 1993 P. Quarters are created equal. The value of a coin can be influenced by several factors, including its condition, rarity, and any unique features it might have. For example, coins that are in mint condition, also known as uncirculated, can fetch higher prices. These coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, with 70 being a perfect coin. For the 1993 P. Washington Quarter, a coin in average circulated condition is usually only worth its face value of 25 cents. However, if you have one that's in uncirculated or near mint condition, the value can go up significantly. In top grades, these coins can be worth million dollars, sometimes even more if they're part of a complete set or have a particularly sharp strike. When examining your 1993 P quarter, look for any signs of wear and tear, scratches, or discoloration. A coin that has been well-preserved will have more defined details, especially in Washington's hair and the eagle on the reverse side. One interesting aspect to note is the presence of any errors or anomalies. Error coins can be highly sought after by collectors. 
For example, a double die error, where the design is imprinted twice slightly offset, can significantly increase a coin's value. While the 1993 Picorder isn't known for having major errors, it's always worth checking your coins closely. Sometimes, minor errors or unique features can be overlooked. So, to sum it up, almost 1993 P. Washington quarters are worth their face value. Those in pristine condition or with unique characteristics can be worth more to collectors. Always inspect your coins carefully and consider getting them graded by a professional service to determine their true value. Thanks for joining me on this coin collecting journey. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more coin news and history. Do you have any rare coins in your collection? Let us know in the comments below. Happy collecting, and see you next time. Today, we're diving into the fascinating history and surprising value of the 1995 P. Mint Mark Washington Quarter. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss an update on your favorite coins. Hi, I'm Adnan. And if you're a coin enthusiast or just curious about rare coins, you're in the right place. Today, we're talking about a coin that's not only rich in history but could also be worth more than you think. Let's get started. The Washington Quarter was first introduced in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. Over the decades, it has become one of America's most iconic coins. The 1995 Washington Quarter, particularly those minted in Philadelphia, carry the P Mint mark. The 1995 P. Washington Quarter is part of the series that began in 1965 when the U.S. Mint started producing quarters with a copper nickel clad composition, replacing the 90% silver composition used previously. The P. Mint mark indicates that the coin was minted in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is one of the oldest and most productive mints in the United States. The minting process of the 1995 P. Quarter involves striking millions of coins, but not all quarters are created equal. What makes a 1995 P. Washington quarter unique? Let's take a closer look. Besides the P. Mint mark, collectors often look for errors or variations. For example, some coins may have a stronger strike, better details, or fewer imperfections, making them more valuable. So, how much is a 1995 P. Washington quarter worth today? The value can vary widely based on its condition and rarity. Circulated quarters usually only fetch their face value but uncirculated or high-grade quarters can be worth much more. For example, a 1995 P quarter in mint state, MS67, condition can be worth around $30,000 to $50,000, and if you find one graded MS68, it could fetch upwards of $150 or more. The highest grades, like MS69, are extremely rare and can command prices well over $1,000. Identifying and preserving your 1995 P. Washington quarter correctly is crucial to maintaining its value. Always handle your coins by the edges to avoid fingerprints. Store them in a cool, dry place, preferably in protective holders or coin albums. If you think you have a high-grade coin, consider getting it professionally graded. That's all for today's deep dive into the 1995 P. Mint Mark Washington quarter. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, this coin is a great addition to any collection. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and leave a comment below if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover next. Thanks for watching Coin Collecting with World Information HD. Until next time, happy collecting! Hey there, coin enthusiasts and curious minds. Welcome back to CoinQuest, where we uncover the fascinating stories and hidden treasures in your pocket change. Today, we're diving into the history and value of the 1997 D. Mint Mark Washington Quarter. Could this humble coin be worth a fortune? Stick around to find out. The Washington Quarter has a rich history that dates back to 1932, when it was first minted to commemorate the 200th birthday of George Washington. Fast forward to 1997, and the U.S. Mint continued the tradition with a quarter that featured the familiar bust of Washington on the obverse, or front, Designed by John Flanagan. Flanagan design has graced our quarters for decades. But what makes the 1997 D. Washington quarter special? The D. Mint mark on this coin signifies that it was struck at the Denver Mint. The Denver Mint has a storied past of producing some of America's most circulated coins. In 1997, it produced millions of Washington quarters, but not all quarters are created equal. Let's take a closer look at this 1997 D. Washington quarter. While its face value is just 25 cents, some of these coins can be worth significantly more. What should you look for? First, condition is key. Coins in pristine, 
uncirculated condition are always more valuable. Collectors look for sharp details and no signs of wear. Grading services can help determine a coin's condition, ranging from poor to perfect mint state. A 1997 D. Washington quarter in mint state condition could fetch a premium from collectors. But that's not all. There are certain errors and varieties that can make these coins even more valuable. Error coins are a hot topic in the coin collecting world. For the 1997 D. quarter, look out for striking errors, such as off center strikes, double dies, or planchet errors. These mistakes can turn an ordinary coin into a highly sought after collectible. So, how much could a 1997 D. Washington quarter be worth? Prices can range from a few dollars for a common coin in excellent condition to hundreds or even thousands for rare era coins. In recent years, some 1997 D quarters with significant errors have sold for impressive sums at auctions. If you're hoping to find one of these treasures, here are some tips. Check your change carefully, visit local coin shops, and consider joining a coin club. Always handle your coins with care. Oils from your fingers can damage their surfaces. Who knew that a simple 1997 D Washington quarter could hold so much potential? Whether you're a seasoned collector or just getting started, always keep an eye out for these hidden gems. You never know what might be lurking in your pocket change. Thanks for joining us on this coin adventure. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to CoinQuest, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. Happy hunting, and may you find your fortune one coin at a time. Check out these other videos for more exciting coin discoveries. See you next time. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the wilds of the Everglades, but not for the reason you might think. Instead, we're going to explore the history and value of the 2014 P. Mint Mark Everglades Washington Quarter. If you've got one of these coins in your collection, you might be holding on to something quite valuable. Let's get started. First, a little bit of history. The Everglades National Park Quarter is part of the America the Beautiful Quarters program, which was launched in 2010 by the United States Mint. This program features 56 unique designs, each representing a national park or site from each state, territory, and the District of Columbia. The Everglades Quarter was released on November 3, 2014, and it celebrates the iconic wildlife and landscapes of Florida's Everglades National Park. The reverse side of the coin, designed by Joel Iskowitz and sculpted by Joseph Mena, features an anhinga bird with outstretched wings and a roseate spoonbill in the background. These details beautifully capture the essence of the Everglades' unique ecosystem. Now, let's talk about that little P-Mint mark. This mark indicates that the coin was minted at the Philadelphia Mint. In 2014, the Philadelphia Mint produced millions of these quarters, but as with any coin, certain factors can make some examples more valuable than others. So, what makes the 2014 P. Everglades quarter potentially worth more than face value? It all comes down to condition and rarity. Coins that are in mint condition especially those graded MS-65 or higher by professional grading services like PCGS or NGC, can fetch a premium. For instance, a 2014 P. Everglades quarter in MS-67 condition has been known to sell for around $100 or more. Another factor to consider is error coins. If you happen to find a 2014 P. Everglades quarter with a minting error, such as a double die or an off-center strike, its value could increase significantly. Error coins are highly sought after by collectors for their uniqueness and rarity. If you're looking to buy or sell one of these quarters, coin shows, local dealers, and online auction sites are great places to start. Just make sure you do your research and maybe even get a professional appraisal to understand the true value of your coin. In summary, while most 2014 P. Everglades quarters you come across will be worth their face value of 25 cents, those in exceptional condition or with unique errors can be worth much more. So, next time you come across one of these quarters, take a closer look. You might just have a hidden gem in your pocket. Thanks for joining me on this coin adventure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating coin stories and tips. And as always, happy collecting! Hey everyone! Welcome back to the Coin Collecting Channel, where we explore the fascinating world of numismatics. I'm your host, Adnan and today we're diving into the history and value of a very special coin, the 2019 D. Mint Mark Lowell Washington Quarter. This coin has been making headlines and some have even speculated its worth could reach up to a million dollars. Let's get into it. The 2019 Lowell Quarter is part of the America the Beautiful Quarter series, which started in 2010 and will continue until 2021. 
This series commemorates national parks and sites across the United States. The Lowell National Historical Park Quarter was released on February 4, 2019, and features a beautifully detailed design. Lowell National Historical Park, located in Lowell, Massachusetts, highlights the significance of the Industrial Revolution in American history. The reverse design of the coin features a mill girl working at a power loom, paying tribute to the women who were an essential part of the textile industry during that era. Now, let's talk about the D-Mint mark. This indicates that the coin was minted in Denver, Colorado. The Denver Mint is one of the primary facilities responsible for producing U.S. coins, and it has a long history of minting some of the most iconic coins in American history. But why is this particular quarter causing such a stir in the coin collecting community? There are a few reasons. Firstly, collectors are always on the lookout for coins in pristine condition, and the 2019 D. Lowell quarter is no exception. A coin in perfect, uncirculated condition, known as MS-70 by grading standards, can fetch a premium price. Furthermore, there are rumors and stories circulating about certain 2019 D. Lowell quarters being worth up to a million dollars. While these stories add an element of excitement, it's important to approach them with a healthy dose of skepticism. The value of a coin depends on its rarity, condition, and demand among collectors. So, what should you do if you come across a 2019 D. Lowell quarter? First, examine the coin for any errors or unique features. Coins with minting errors can be incredibly valuable. Next, consider having the coin professionally graded by a service like the Professional Coin Grading Service, PCGS, or the Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, NGC. While it's unlikely that a single 2019 D. Lowell quarter will reach the million-dollar mark, some have sold for hundreds or even thousands of dollars, especially if they are in mint state condition or have unique errors. Always keep an eye on the latest auctions and sales to gauge the current market value. In conclusion, the 2019 D. Lowell Washington Quarter is a beautiful piece of numismatic history with potential for significant value, especially for keen-eyed collectors. Whether you're new to coin collecting or a seasoned pro, it's always exciting to discover and learn about these little pieces of art. Thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this content and want to see more, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or if you've found a valuable coin in your collection. Happy collecting, and see you next time! Hey everyone, welcome back to Coin Chronicles, the channel where we dive deep into the fascinating world of coins. I'm your name, and today, we're talking about a very special coin that has captured the attention of collectors worldwide, the North Dakota 1889-2006 P. Mint Mark Washington Quarter Dollar Coin. Stick around to find out why this coin could be worth a staggering $1.5 million. First, let's take a closer look at the coin itself. The North Dakota Quarter was released in 2006 as part of the United States Mint's 50-State Quarters Program, celebrating North Dakota's entry into the Union on November 2, 1889. On the obverse side, we have the familiar image of George Washington, designed by John Flanagan. The design has been a staple on the quarter since 1932, but the P-Mint mark right here indicates it was minted in Philadelphia. Now, flipping to the reverse side, you'll see a stunning depiction of two American bison grazing in front of the rugged Badlands terrain. This design, created by Donna Weaver, perfectly captures the spirit and natural beauty of North Dakota. But what makes this quarter so special? The answer lies in a combination of rarity, historical significance, and an interesting error that occurred during the minting process. In 2006, the U.S. Mint produced millions of these quarters, but a tiny fraction of them have a unique error that has skyrocketed their value. Some of these quarters were struck on experimental planchets, or blanks, which were not intended for circulation. These planchets were made of different materials, resulting in a few quarters that weigh slightly more or less than the standard quarter and have a unique appearance. Finding one of these error coins is like striking gold. Experts estimate that only a handful of these experimental planchet errors exist, making them incredibly rare and valuable. In fact, one of these coins was sold at auction for an astonishing $1.5 million. That's right, folks. A single North Dakota quarter with the experimental planchet error fetched $1.5 million at auction, making it one of the most valuable modern U.S. coins ever sold. So, how can you tell if you have one of these valuable quarters? First, check the weight. A standard quarter weighs 5.67 grams, but the error coin will differ slightly. Next, 
examined the coin under magnification for any unusual characteristics or differences in metal composition. If you think you've found one, it's best to have it authenticated by a professional coin grading service. Collecting coins can be a rewarding hobby, and sometimes, you might just come across a hidden treasure. So, next time you come across a North Dakota quarter, take a closer look. You might be holding a piece of history worth a fortune. Thanks for watching this episode of Coin Chronicles. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an exciting update. Have you ever found a rare coin in your collection? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, happy collecting! Hey everyone, welcome back to Coin Collecting Treasures. Today, we're diving into the fascinating history of the Washington Quarter Dollar, focusing specifically on the 1848-2004 D Mint Mark series. We'll explore its rich history, notable variations, and why some of these coins could be worth a lot of money. Let's get started. The Washington Quarter was first minted in 1932 to commemorate the 200th anniversary of George Washington's birth. The design was created by sculptor John Flanagan, featuring a profile of Washington on the obverse and an eagle on the reverse. Now you might be wondering, how does the D-Mint mark fit into this? The D indicates that the coin was minted in Denver. The Denver Mint has produced Washington Quarters from 1934 onwards, except during the wartime years when the composition changed to support the war effort. Fast forward to 1848. Wait, hold on. You might be thinking, how can there be an 1848 Washington Quarter? Well, there isn't. The Washington Quarter started in 1932. The reference to 1848 in coin collecting actually pertains to a different historic coin. So, let's focus on the Washington Quarters from 1932 onwards, particularly the ones minted in Denver, marked with a D dot. From 1932 to 1964, these quarters were made of 90% silver. In 1965, due to rising silver prices, the composition was changed to a copper nickel clad. The D mint mark coins from specific years in this period can be particularly valuable, especially those with errors or in mint condition. Let's talk about some key dates and varieties that are worth a lot of money. 1932 D, the first year of the Washington Quarter is highly collectible, and the Denver minted coins are rarer. In high grades, these can fetch thousands of dollars. 1937 D. Look out for the three-legged buffalo error. Wait, wrong coin. But still, the 1937 D in mint state is valuable. 1942 D. Quarters from this year with the D mint mark can be very valuable, especially in higher grades. 1950 D. This year saw a lower mintage, making high-grade specimens more valuable. 1983 D. This quarter is highly sought after in mint state due to the economic downturn causing fewer people to save coins in uncirculated condition. 2004 D. The Wisconsin Quarter from the 50 State Quarters Program has a famous extra leaf error on the reverse side. These errors can be worth hundreds of dollars. Now, how do you determine if your D-Mint Mark Washington Quarter is valuable? Here are a few tips. 1. Condition asterisk coins in better condition are worth more. Look for coins with minimal wear, clear details, and no scratches. 2. Asterisk asterisk rarity asterisk asterisk check the mintage numbers. Lower mintage generally means higher value. 3. Errors asterisk coins with minting errors, like doubled dies or incorrect designs, can be worth significantly more. Point 4. Historical context asterisk special years or coins with a story behind them can be more appealing to collectors. So there you have it, the intriguing history and potential value of the 1848-2004 D Mint Mark Washington Quarters. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, always keep an eye out for those special coins that could be worth a small fortune. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more coin collecting tips and history. Share your finds in the comments below. Who knows, you might just have a hidden gem in your collection. Thanks for watching Coin Collecting Treasures, and happy hunting!